Welcome to Uluwatu. Uluwatu. We made it here yesterday. We took a two and a half hour go jack ride from Ubud to Uluwatu. Oh. Oh my God. Three hours late. <laughs> Much more luxurious than our other drop off. It's given Mexico vibes. Now we are spending the day at the most gorgeous beach. We are at Dreamland Beach. Last night, we came here, we watched a beautiful sunset. We explored the beach a little bit. Pockets of water. This is just waves crashing over this rock for thousands of years. There's Bebe, Bebe. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Oh. And then we went for a really cool dinner at a place called the Cashew Tree. And then today we decided to come back to Dreamland Beach, get some beach chairs, and just enjoy this. So over here it's like super white sand beaches. There's like tons of surfers and the barrels this morning are unbelievable. Wavy! 100% chance of waves today. Look at these beach chairs that we snagged. They were the last ones and Chris just like sat down on them. They were 200,000. We also got this beach blanket for 200,000. Oh the waves are like coming up underneath of our beach chair. So we have to make sure like everything is up. Look at this. Beachy fun. That's what I like to call wet sand beaches. Cute she is, just saying. Okay, Chris is feeling brave and he wants to go battle some barrels. I'm gonna make this look so graceful. You guys are gonna be like, whoa. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go first. I'll go in after. All right, sweets, go in. Have fun. Oh, he's in. That was easy. Let's see if he gets a barrel. It's like super calm and then it's not. And then it's unbelievably chaotic and everyone runs for their lives. Oh, he's swimming. I didn't know you could swim. Oh, he got taken out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he can't watch. Oh wow. <laughs> Absolute getting washed up on shore. But yeah, guys. Here's my hair down for the first time. If you guys didn't know my hair is this long. It's given Uluwatu. You look so good. Are you gonna go in the water? No, you're not. I'm gonna frolic. This is kind of the vibe. Great atmosphere, not too, too busy. The first beach we're checking out. Stay tuned for the next ones. I love it here. Something about sitting by the ocean and listening to the waves and watching them is so therapeutic. You don't need therapy, you just need to come to the beach. There's no bad days at the beach. Maybe if there's a tsunami, that's probably it. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, but yes, I would agree. And it's 20,000, wait, it's 10,000 rupees each to come down. I'm gonna quickly walk you through where we've been staying in Uluwatu. So we actually booked a hotel for this one and it's kind of like a resort, which we did not expect at all. This is outside. There's two different pools here, a gym, a restaurant. So we have a closet. Hey guys. So quick little room tour. This is our bedroom, king size bed. The pillows were fabulous. We had such good sleeps. Mini fridge, TV, desk, us. We gotta run, we gotta run, we're late. And then I'll just show you the bathroom. <laughs> and this is the bathroom, which is actually a really nice bathroom. Bathtub, the surfer's bathtub, and Bali didn't use it. In shower, okay, but we gotta go. Everything okay, let's go. And I think this is like $60 a week or something. Yeah, and then I'll show you guys the pool and the gym. Okay, so this is the restaurant. And
really enjoyed staying here and we were not expecting the complex to be so big. We are pleasantly surprised. And today we're taking scooters around. I guess I should say one scooter. I am not driving. Oh jeez. And they drive on the left side of the road here. So let's uh, see how that works. How was it? Papa, I'm in trouble. Oh no. Okay, so we rented a scooter for the day. We haven't done this yet. Usually we just get Gojeks everywhere. So Chris is practicing. I'm a little bit worried because he came back from his first practice round. Really hesitant. He's like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, oh, no. Like, I'm supposed to get on the back of that when you're not even sure. How was it? You ever ridden one before? Not yet. <laughs> just wanted to try it. Right. Just be careful on the throttle. It goes fast. The throttle is just fine. Yeah. He's doing another lap right now, and then I'm going to get on the back of it, and we are going to explore Uluwatu and get breakfast. Hopefully, that's the plan, but things can change. And here he is. He's looking more confident. Good? I went to the roundabout. How was that? No, yeah, good. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Not bad. I wouldn't mind just doing this just to practice and like even if we don't go anywhere, okay. we're gonna hop on now. Oh my god. Because <laughs> now I gotta practice with you on, right? Okay. What a sexy Gojek driver I have today. And then left, right? Left. Stay on the left. I will remind you. Left, left, left. Good job, baby. Okay, so far we're just in our little resort community, but we're gonna go on the street to see how that goes. Now we are entering our first car. Oh my god, he went right! He went right! This is where we're driving. <laughs> Alright, so these are actually a lot trickier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> like it'll, it'll take me like a couple hours of practice to feel comfortable enough to hit the city. We're gonna go take a go yeah. check to get some breakfast. Good job, baby. You did really good. You're sweaty. Alright, guys. Oh my god. We just finished having brunch at Nourish and it was so good. I think Delicious. We really, I needed like a fruity, healthy brunch like that. I got an ice long Americano and then protein bowl, which had like mangoes and bananas and coconut and granola. A smoothie underneath with protein in it. Then we got eggs in a skillet, which had bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, sauce. They gave us some chili hot sauce. And then you like dip it with your sourdough, which was delicious. Oh, wow. Such a cute little cafe. So good. And this was after our little scooter fiasco. So happy we didn't bring the scooters. Like even just here, like figuring out this parking situation, figuring out these roads, like look at this. When we were driving here, we were like, there's no way. We yeah. would have crashed. Oh my gosh. So now we're going to go check out some beaches, starting with Padang Padang. It's a 12 Padang, minute Padang. walk down this way. Uh, let's go to the beach. Beach, that's a good way. Beach number one, 30,000 feet. Also monkeys. <laughs> So this beach, you have to go at the top there, pay 30,000 rupees, and then come down the stairs. Monkeys galore! Look at, there's a sign, beware of monkeys. What an entry. It's crazy to get to the beach. <laughs> He's trying to break his coconut. Did you break, the coconut? Did you break it? Did you break yeah, I know. Yeah. It's so smart. Yeah. We are at Padang Padang Beach. So far, super cool. You walk down the crevice, you see the monkeys, you pay the money, and then you arrive. So let's go check it out. First impressions. Busy. Busy or a lot smaller than Dreamland Beach. Dreamland Beach is 20,000 rupees. This is 30,000. This is the beach vibe. A lot smaller. It looks a lot more swimmable here. A lot more intimate. <laughs> That's a good word to use. Intimate, right? The water is turquoise and the sand is definitely white. So it's beautiful. But if you want to come like for an easier swim, this is it. Check out the waves here. So I would say if you're going to come here, go early because we are all the way in the back of the beach. We don't even have view of the ocean, but it's gorgeous. Yeah. We were just about to leave this spot and go into the ocean and look at there's Monkeys. a tree full of monkeys up there. This guy just dropped off a fresh coconut for them. And this big one is eating it all. He chased this little guy away. 
Go in and get coconuts now and feed them to them. We just got out of the ocean. This is definitely a more swimmable beach. The waves are super calm. You can just go in there, chill. It's really nice. The undercurrent's super strong too though, so watch out. Yeah, we managed to find a spot right at the front. Not afraid to wedge yourself in and just get in between some people and maybe even get stepped on a little bit from people <laughs> around you. But uh, this is our spot now. Watch out for the <laughs> That is your Padang Padang beach update for the day. On to the next one. And now we are hiking these steep so stairs back up. We're now taking the uh, back to the next beach, Thomas Beach. As you can see, I'm no longer wearing a hat. That is because it flew off and I lost it. If you're wearing a hat, hold on to it tight. All right, we made it. Got dropped off right there with the Gojek. Thank goodness we got that because the roads here are so steep and hilly. It is hilly here you guys did lose your hat though hat just flew off stupid move on my part yeah, i was holding on to mine well mine felt so secure and then one little downhill wind gust and whoop, we are now at thomas beach so far you take this trail down there's no stairs but we'll see what happens down there okay i think we spoke too soon because now we are doing some stairs okay there's stairs but look at this view you guys oh my gosh i definitely know which way the beach is Oh my god. That wouldn't have been good. I literally almost just fell down these freaking stairs. <sighs> Steep. Oh wow. Oh my god. Stairs. Pretty steep. Reference. This is Montana going down the stairs. Just gotta be careful, that's all. This is Thomas Beach. A lot bigger. First impressions right off the bat. Beautiful. Way bigger. No get in either we don't have to oh, yeah. anything. Show you guys the water right now. This is a happy medium between Dreamland and Penang Penang. Waves but still really calm. Behind these loungers that you can rent out. For all these little vendors and you can rent surfboards, you can get snacks, you can get beer, you can get coconuts. So this beach stretches all the way from over there all the way from where we came from. One hat lost. Another hat found. He just went, left me here, and bought this hat. Good thing it was only 50. Oh, it was only 50? They have a pink one. This exact one pink. I want it. Yeah, go get one. I agree. You don't like my bucket hat? Nope. It takes too much of your face away. That's the point. It's a hat. <laughs> okay, I'm on a mission to go find this hat, but in pink. And I don't even know where he got this from. I'm probably going to end up going too far. Is that too pink for me? Did you just sell this one to my boyfriend? No. Oh, okay, sorry. No pink, no deal. Also, one thing I noticed, guys, I'm gonna show you real quick. This beach is a little bit more rocky than the other ones. So right when you're about to get in the water, there's tons of stones. So maybe for this one, you bring water shoes. That's different from the sand and beach for this one. And this is the trek back up. Accessibility <laughs> to get to these places. Dreamland is easy. It's a 9 out of 10 for the stairs. Bang, bang. It's like a 5 out of 10. And this one's like a four, 3, 4 out of 10. Yeah, it's hard. Getting back up is hard. And that's like Stairmaster on overdrive. Hey, oh. we were there yesterday. Right across from Thomas Beach is yeah. Suka. So we're going to stop in for lunch there. How lovely. I'm so happy now. Get some energy back. Those stairs took it out of me. All right, let's get some lunch. We so both had chicken burrito bowls which actually looks so good and we got some refreshers so let's eat these and then keep finding peaches good now we gotta walk these uh no sidewalk roads down to blue point beach oh look at these stairs here to be so careful from blue point look at this it's like a, inside a cave <gasps> no way this is so cool look at this guys Little shops here. What is this place is right? It's like I think it's like a natural cave. Look at this. This is damn cool. So this is Blue Point Beach. Super different vibe. It's like a cave vibe. We have made it to Blue Point, and honestly, I was not expecting any of this. I thought it was gonna be like a regular beach again, but there's literally tons of caves. You walk down the steep stairs, and then it's just caves and like water coming from them. And then there's surfers out in the distance, and it looks like there's like pools of water from the ocean. I think it's low tide, so the ocean's all the way back. I'll show you. See what I'm talking about? There's like pools of water, but then the ocean's all the way back there. 
definitely wasn't expecting this, but it's really cool. Check out how clear this water is. That's a 10 out of 10 for water clarity. We're gonna explore this oh, a little section first. There's some like gnarly waves over here. I know, I wanna get close to them though. Look at these waves, guys. I wonder surfers come here. I can't believe that this is real right I now. I know, right? Definitely check this beach out. Yeah. This is by far the coolest one. Crystal clear is a pool. These amazing, juicy, gnarly waves. Like, can you call them juicy? They're juicy waves. They're juicy waves. Thing. Guys, come to Blue Point Beach. I'm just trying to take it in with my eyeballs. So you guys just got a full 360 of Blue Point Beach. Wow, 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 wow. We're gonna stay here. This is so beautiful. We'll catch the sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, we're camping out. <laughs> so he walked all the way through these pools of water to that ledge, and now he's literally standing with the waves. Okay, let's watch him try to get back in. Oh, don't fall! Oh, his belly pops in. Good job, baby! I've never seen him spin before. I didn't know he could. I was just way out there, as you saw. We just continue, you keep walking. You think it's gonna drop off and it doesn't. I mean, if I would have kept going, I could have probably touched a wave and still stood there. But now we're just uh, chilling here on the beach. We're gonna enjoy a nice sunset here. Thanks so much for coming along with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye. Bye. See you in Nusa Lomboga. Nusa Lomboga. Nusa Islands, baby.